This is the zombie ant. Just like the zombies you've seen on screen, it's infected. But here, the villain isn't a virus, it's a fungus. Watch what happens. A single spore lands on an ant, tiny, invisible, and drills straight through its shell. From that moment, the fungus doesn't just live inside the ant, it controls it. The ant is still alive, still moving, but not by choice. The fungus rewires its body like a puppet. It forces the ant to climb down from its nest, onto a leaf, and bite down with its jaws. Hard. Almost like it's locking itself into a death grip. And while the ant is stuck there, the fungus starts eating her from the inside out, and also carefully keeping it alive. After a few days, a stalk explodes right out of the back of its head. That stalk? It's the fungus's launch pad. Spores rain down, waiting for new victims to pass underneath. All this happens in between 4 to 10 days. And this fungus can wipe out entire colonies if it spreads. But looking at this right here, if a fungus can hijack an ant's brain, what's stopping something like this from evolving to control bigger creatures?